time for Celebrity Insiders, where we get to know some of your favorite stars through the lens of sports. Sports just happens to be this person's livelihood. Mike Greenberg from Mike and Mike in the Morning on ESPN Radio is a proud Northwestern alum, and tomorrow he will serve as the Grand Marshal in the homecoming parade on a day the Cats obviously playing one of the most significant games ever in Evanston. We asked him just how he got hooked up with such a swanky gig. It's been a a fall of great honors for me because I had a chance to be the, the honorary captain for an earlier game this season against Syracuse and so now to be back for homecoming doing this. It's just amazing and you know I had a lot of responsibilities for that. My responsibilities for this are far more limited. I really just have to sit in a car and wave. So I think I'm athletically perfectly suited for that. So I think this should go very well. Well, that perfectly transitions into my next question because you and Golik always joke about how you're the fan and, and he's the former athlete. What was it like for you that, that week that you were team captain to be around the athletes and see what their day to day is like? I loved it. I mean, I, you know, you and I both, Bonnie, obviously have been around sports and around athletes for many years now. Um, and there's there's always a line. There's a line between when you're a reporter, no matter how close you might get on some level to whomever it is you're covering, you're really never part of the group. That was the closest I've ever been to being on the other side of the line, to being part of the group. I was at the walk, I was at the practice, I spoke to the team, I was on the sideline, they were giving me high fives when they were coming off the field. I got to be in the locker room afterwards and, and speak to the team after the win. So in that regard, it was really a thrill. Best Northwestern sports memory from your days in Evanston? Well, there's no question about it. Um, Indiana won the national championship in basketball in 1987. And the following year, they came to Evanston and played us on a big Monday on ESPN. And we beat them at Welsh Ryan Arena in a very close game. In my mind's eye, I can still see Terry Buford dribbling the clock out at the very end as we hung on to win. And I was among many who raced out onto the court immediately. What makes you think your Wildcats can break Ohio State's 17-game win streak? Well, they can. There's no question in my mind they can. Northwestern can play offensive football with anybody. I, I genuinely believe, particularly with the return of Venrick Mark, we have the explosiveness to score the, the way we need to, and we have also the ability to possess the ball enough that our defense shouldn't be on the field the entire night. So if we can force a couple of turnovers, make a couple of big stops, and play our offensive game, then I think we have an excellent chance to be there in the fourth quarter. Look, this is, this is such a... An incredible opportunity for us, if you think about it. Ohio State is, they're, they're, you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. They're the man. There's no question about it. They didn't lose a game last year. They have the legendary coach. They have the Heisman candidate quarterback. This is our opportunity to prove that we belong with them. And I genuinely believe that we do. Now we'll get our chance to go out and show it. The one famous Northwestern alum you have not met, but you would like to. That's the easiest question you will ever ask anyone. <laughs> uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. I love Julia Louis-Dreyfus. I love Seinfeld. I love her on Veep. I married my wife, Stacy because she reminds me of Julia Louis-Dreyfus. So I, I am a, an enormous fan. And Julia, if you're watching and you happen to be at the game, please come by and say hello. It would be an honor. And Stacy's okay with this. You, you've Stacey apparently had this conversation. Right? Come on. You've met Stacy. She has absolutely nothing to worry about. Follow Mike at ESPN Greeny on Twitter and be sure to check out his book, All You Can Ask For. 100% of the proceeds will go to breast cancer research. And Mike, congratulations on making your first donation October 16th. Thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy the game. Thanks, Bonnie.